four journalists were attacked before and during the general elections. This revelation by the GJA, though not the first witness in this country, was brutal and should be condemned. President of the Association, Afil Moni, says three of those attacked are in critical condition and one was operated on last week. He's urging media practitioners not to be intimidated over the attacks while asking members to pursue the highest form of circumspection in their work. Um, our brother, uh, our colleague, is out of danger, but uh, he'll be out of work for some time now. And the good news is that uh, the MOU we have signed with SIC, uh, which uh, enjoys the um, insurance company, um, provide uh, a cushion, 40,000 cities to work. Under the MOU, um, I see you will see 40,000 lumps and there are 3,300 cities every month, one good year. Others, depending on their degree of injury, will also be a title package under the MU. Mm. Did all these incidents occur on election day? Um, two on election day, one before the election day, and uh, the, the, uh, the insurance cover spans 1st November 2020, and, um, and, and 31st January 2021. So uh, any journalist who um, falls victim to attacks or, or, or uh, is injured in 1st November 2020, 31st January 2021, we're entitled to the package at the MOU. Okay, great. Uh, but we've had elections in this country before. Is this the first time that we're recording incidents such as what you're narrating to us? Uh, yes, and on other previous, in previous occasions, generals were brutalized, uh, mistreated, um, but this, this, the number and the magnitude of injury uh, are unprecedented. And we did anticipate that they gave the stakes, which were incredibly high in the 2020 election, and, and give the bent by the two parties to win power at all costs. We, we, we did anticipate that a journalist you know, would come under a form of attacks or threats. So we promptly asked the IGP to end a uh, special power protection to all journalists. That was at a meeting last Friday before election. And of course, we, he also deserved commendation for, for sharpening. Now, President Zakufoda has attended the swearing in ceremony of Ivorian President Alassane Ouattara. The Ivorian president won a third term in an election that sparked deadly violence across the country and was boycotted by opposition voters. Ouattara received over 90% of the vote, as much as 99% in some of his strongholds. The main opposition candidates, Pascal Afi Nguessan and Henry Conan Bedier, encouraged their supporters to boycott the elections. Opposition parties have described Ouattara's third term bid as illegal, as it broke rules on Côte d'Ivoire's term limits. We're taking another break. We'll bring you more business. Do stay tuned.